Hi guys and welcome back to Making Games with Unity. Today I'm going to teach you what is RA. RA is a variable where you can store multiple values. So right now in our code here we got a color collection and our collection have three length. It means it can store three values inside. So right now in here in our start we put the red on the first value and then we put blue on the second value and we put green on the third value so in our debug lag we check each one of the index inside our array to see if the red blue or green is already stored so we can save this and then we can go back to unity to see that so let's hit play and then you have it on the index zero we got red on index 1 we get blue on index 2 we get green so it means that go back in our code our color collection successfully stored these three values three different values in one variable that's the purpose of array so for example i want to add more like yellow can i still do this uh let's see let's play let's clear this one let's hit play uh, we get a index out of bounds error it means that we cannot put yellow anymore because in here we need to put three values only so if you want to put three on the three and put yellow on that we need to make this four and go back to unity we will see that yellow is stored so to do that we need to also do this like check the index three so right now as you can see here i'm accessing the value here for a collection to zero one two three and three this is the index inside this array so i'm going to save this and yeah our expectation is to show the lag for the yellow so let's hit play and there you go so right now our array have a length of four that's why we can put the yellow inside and there's another way to create an array we can do something like this so let's comment that this one is also private all right so right now in here we quickly put red blue and green and we didn't put the length of the array we can also do that so i'm going to comment out this thing because we already stored the value inside so when we do this let's go back to unity and let's let's hit clear let's hit play and then red blue green so yeah that's how you're gonna use an array inside c sharp this one is just a ordinary array there's there's other type of arrays that we can use but right now i'm going to show this one first and maybe on the next video i'm going to show the another type of array so that's how you're gonna use an array in c sharp you can do something like this where you declare the length before you put in the value like this or you can use it like this you instantly put the values inside so that you can access it directly so i hope you learned something today guys and yeah if you want to learn more about unity 3d basics and c sharp programming basics you can check our other videos and i hope you will learn too and then yeah if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and please hit that notification bell so that you always get updated when we upload a new video and again guys thank you for watching and see you next time goodbye guys